Mr. Stringer, thank you very much for chairing this session. It's been a privilege to serve under you, and I also express my thanks to the Back to the Bench Business Committee, who I hope we have uh, justified the decision in giving us debate today. Um, can I pick up a couple of points very quickly? Um, my thanks to the Minister. She's answered m many of our points very well. Um, the, my right honourable friend, the member for Westminster and City, um, argued that we need a new law. I think given that we've got UK air power doctrine coming in 2016, what we really need uh, in more immediate terms is a robust and clear public application of the current law. Um, and that seems to be the most important outcome of what we're talking about today. Um, uh, some honourable mem members argued that um, this is a new system um, uh, uh, which is the, uh, not the same as, uh, oh, sorry, is, is operating the same way as existing systems. Um, uh, the principles are the same. The practicalities are very different. Put it in, uh, in, pr in physical terms, um, uh, a, a tornado can cross of the length of a football field in one third of a second, whilst uh, that a drone could watch that uh, in orbit, that same football field, for eight hours. So clearly there are differences in terms of precision. The rules of war built around uh, the fog of war and the, and the uh, doubt that goes on there, we actually have an opportunity to make them more precise and to make them more humane in some ways. Um, however, as the Honourable Gentleman alluded to and his Honourable Friend uh, said, uh, with American uh, strikes, uh, roughly uh, for each kill uh, of a terrorist, they're claimed three times. So that implies at least two innocent people died as a result of failures of intelligence. So, so there are areas of um, concern here, and that brings me strictly to the most important aspect of this, and that is the blurring of the area between war and peace. The drone's operation within uh, 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 war zones uh, worry me much less than drone's operation outside war zones. That's where governments will be tempted to do things which are beyond what we normally expect of a civilised Western government. And uh, uh, that is the area I will look very closely at the UK Air Power Doctrine in 2016 uh, for an answer.